together. I'm Jose Pichardo, and I'm with Vinny Bonacorso, and for your Devil of the Week. And I'm just going to ask him a few questions so you can get to know him and the team. And see you tomorrow on campus. All right, so how you doing, Vinny? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, just going to ask a few questions about you, uh, a little bit about the team, uh, any like future goals or anything like that that you have personally or for the team, um, and something for the people to get to know more about you. So, uh, you. so what year are you? I'm a senior. Senior. And what's your major? Communications. Communications. Uh, do you have any uh, any plans for uh, your, your career, like communications or anything? Uh, post college, I'm immediately going to be working with uh, my old high school and the special ed, special ed classrooms, helping out with kids. And I'm going to be doing something with public relations in uh, the sports in a sports company that I work at at home as well. And like uh, I, I train 12 year olds and younger for baseball. So I'll be helping market that for the time being. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Man. Yeah. Uh, so baseball, like this goes way back for you. Yeah. How long have you been playing baseball? Uh, I would say the first time I put up a bat, I was probably three years old. Um, that dates back to like my my dad, and my grandpa being big baseball fans, my grandpa being a Yankee fan since twenties, and then my dad just loving baseball, playing it, growing up, and him just continuing to love it. They both taught me how to play, so I just ran with it. So they were they were kind of like your inspiration too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I would say that my grandpa and my my grandpa and my grandma both. I would say. Both always wanted to push me to play, like always push me to be the best I could be, because they always saw me how much I love baseball. So it was pretty cool to see that. And my dad, my dad, my mom, my sister has been my number one fans my entire life. So you can always, yeah. That's good. That's good. What position do you play? I'm an outfielder. Outfielder? Yes. Okay. Do you? Would you rather play like any other position? Like not rather, but like, is there any preference? Mm -hmm. Not, not really. I enjoy the outfield. Uh, I used to catch when I was younger, and now being an outfielder, I, I, I like it. It's it's a it's a good spot for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, nice, nice. So you're you have to be fast. Uh, I, I'm not the fastest, but I, I I can get the job done. I guess. Yeah. With, with, right. I used to play the line. My vision was just not yeah. Good, so I couldn't do outfield. Yeah. Um. So any any other like aspirations that you have? As far as baseball as goes, as far as baseball goes, you could do you could say personally or for the team. Yeah, I mean personally, I just I want to continue to enjoy playing while I can, and uh, whatever happens with it happens with it. I'm glad I got to play in college and everything. But as far as the team goes, I, we really want to win the conference, yeah. and we really want to get things on the right path and definitely win the MAC, and that would be definitely the highlight of our year if we nice. do that. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm proud to you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Um. Do you feel like there's uh, do you have support from the family? But do you feel like there's uh, like a lot of support from from the school, or would you like to see some more support from the school? I would say we have a lot of support from the school. We we always usually have a pretty good show out to our games. A lot of st uh, fellow students come out and support us. Uh, it's I'm very grateful for that because uh, our field isn't like right next to everything else, like the football field and like the softball field is right in the middle of campus. So people come to our games and like it shows that they want to come hang out, like come and hang out and see us play and support us. So that helps us out. It's definitely cool to see. Yeah, definitely. I went to one of the games and that, I didn't realize how much of a walk it was. Oh like, yeah, oh yeah. It's, to your, to your yeah, it, it's it's tough if you if you're not driving down. There. Yeah, but it it's always been fun actually going to the games. Yeah. And the chemistry that I see the, the team have. Yeah. No matter what, if you're if it's a big deficit or we're in the lead, you guys seem calm. Like, do, do you feel like that's an important thing to have for the team, like a good chemistry? I say 100. Uh, percent It's good to have a lot of camaraderie as a team, and uh, us in particular, we we practice like brothers, we fight like brothers, we have fun like brothers. We're definitely a family, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the group of guys we got. It's definitely definitely a good thing to be a part of. I, yeah, it's cool. Do you have any uh, any like specific routines that, that you you do it as a team, like person, like off the field, or like or on the field with the team? Off the field, we have uh, we have like nights where we'll like order like a UFC or like a boxing pay per view. We'll watch it. We'll hang out. Order a pizza or something, or we'll watch uh, some baseball games, football games, whatever's on. And uh, we do that as a team a lot before games, 
like before or like on any weekend or something. And then uh, as far as for baseball goes, we have team lifts. We have the uh, typical practices that we have for baseball all the time. And it's a pretty, it's, it's, it's a normal student athlete baseball routine. It's the homework, uh, hang, out, hang out with the friends while you can, practice, get things done. All right. Uh, you mentioned student athlete, yeah. and I want to touch on that. I want to know what your definition is of a student athlete. Uh, my definition of a student athlete, uh, I say someone who uh, dedicates, is very dedicated and very, uh, very caring about what they love. And uh, being an athlete here, it, it's I, I, like I can only imagine what it's like being an athlete at a really, really big school where it's like you have a crazy following, like the University of Alabama per se or something like that. Because it's tough to balance what we have and schoolwork and everything. So I think a student athlete is balancing everything, schoolwork, your sport, and still trying to enjoy college and have fun while you can with your friends and everything. And I think being a student athlete is all about uh, loving your craft and following your dreams per se because it's it's tough. It is definitely tough being a, being a student athlete, but I wouldn't trade it for anything because it's, it, it, it's a cool thing to push yourself doing. So. Nice. If you could do any other sport, what would you do? Any other sport? Any other sport, yeah. Uh, if I play any other sport, I'd say football. Football? Have yeah. you played football? I'm not, not organized in a long time. So uh, if I could, I, I, I kind of wish I would have ran with football a little bit too. I always liked uh, chucking the football around and having fun like that. So that's all, that's definitely something I enjoy doing. So do you can you recall any moment where you had a lot of pressure on the team? Because I know that especially for any any team, really, mm -hmm. there's a lot of pressure on you. Mm -hmm. um, no matter what position, you have to do your part. And sometimes when you're in a deficit, that can really like take its toll on the players. Yeah. It can call you can either just crumble. Or you can overcome. Do you? Can you recall like any moment where you, like, I had to experience this? Yeah, I mean, last year was my first year at FDU, and when uh, I transferred in here, I, I immediately saw a lot of guys that just love playing baseball and wanted to work hard. And last year, we had somewhat of a rough year, but we overcame a lot. Like there was a lot of games that we ended up losing close. There was a lot of games that we were that we were down by a decent amount, and we ended up coming back and winning on game winning hits. And uh, that's something to remember. And then this year we started off one and five, went on a win streak, got our got our record back to feasible, and now we're doing we're doing pretty well now. And uh, we have a little less than half the season left. We got a lot to a lot to a lot to still do. But uh, one game this season in particular, I would say, was Eastern. We were down five nothing in the first, and you can see like our team had a like a fire in our eye. We. We didn't want to lose that game. It was a big conference game. Ended up winning it. It was, went through like a, a couple of lightning delays, so it was like, Ooh. yeah, it was a little, it was a little nuts. And we ended up winning uh, like sixteen to eleven, I think it was. And nice. uh, it, it was a whole team effort. It was awesome. Wow. Definitely, definitely cool. Wow, that's 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 yeah. a pretty one to overcome. It was cool. What is your most important reward that you expect for? Uh, for this year, it could be it could be overall like um, on and off the field, just or something specific that you want to highlight, like a reward, like a, a a goal that you an achievement that you would like to, to uh, win the conference with win the team. The they, yeah, I feel like there would be no memory like after this year, being able to come back next year, at, like visiting all my former teammates and friends, and knowing we won the conference or so and something of that of that sort would be. Uh, incomparable to anything else. So that, that that's what I definitely want to do. Yeah. So you're definitely not new to the game, and you're de this isn't this isn't your first year. How do you feel um, playing alongside players who might be a little a little more uh, not as experienced as you are? Do you feel like you kind of have to take them under your wing, show them a little bit, or do you feel confident enough that they? Like can hold their own. I feel confident in all my teammates. Uh, we have great leadership. A uh, couple of the captains, like uh, Kevin Sinclair and Frank Tassielli, they hold things in place very well. They help out kids that need to be helped, and they're 
they're good teammates and got a bunch of good guys and a bunch of good players. So I never feel like we're ever overpowered. I feel like we always have more talent. It's always about putting it together on the field. And I'm, I'm always confident in my guys. And you can definitely, you can definitely see that when you, when you do see the games, yeah. I've, I've been to a few and I, you could definitely see that, like that confidence. You, you feel like you, it looks to me like you're not worried whether or not the other players are going to do their part. It's like you, you know they're going to do their part. Yeah, it's all about – baseball is a very – it's a big mental game. And if you're not confident in yourself and everybody around you, it's going to be tough. And I'm confident in all my teammates and our coaching staff and everything, and I'm glad that uh, we have a group of guys we do because it's a bunch of good ball players that love playing the game. And it's fun to play the game that way because if you're confident, then, I mean – Things usually should go your way. Yeah. It's, it's starting to now, so for us, yeah. Let's hope it keeps going for you. Yeah. Uh, now I'm just going to ask you like a few quick questions, okay. and then we'll just close with that. Okay. Right? So what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Uh, Field of Dreams or Sandlot. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, favorite music? Country or hip-hop. It's two very wide things, but I don't, that's really the only two genres I, I listen to at all, so... What song do you come out to? When you right now? Yeah. Uh, Panda by Designer. Yes. <laughs> Every time I hear it, I'm like, yep, I know it's coming. Out. <laughs> um, uh, any destination in the world that you could, like, would love to visit? You could be there right now, just say it. Any destination in the world? I would like to visit the roots of my family in Italy. I, I think that would be cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's more, there's more than just... The food, like the stuff. Like oh the yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, I definitely want to see my roots. My grandpa, my grandpa, and my grandma were devout Italians, and they and they all about our history. And I would love to visit and see what and see my roots and everything. So that's definitely something I want to do. Do you speak any Italian? I wish. Uh, my, when when I was little, my grandparents used to speak it a lot, and they're able to speak it like almost fluently. So I was able to pick up from them. And then when they passed away, it was like. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was, it's harder because my parents, my parents aren't really speaking, so. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. But definitely gets it. Yeah. Um, what about uh, favorite food? My favorite food, anything Italian food or sushi? Italian food or sushi? I'm okay. a big sushi guy, yeah. Uh, so that's that's the diet of a baseball player. So, <laughs> uh, no, no, not typically. Uh, I just enjoy, like, sushi is not the cheapest meal. So what I can enjoy, I try to enjoy it. And, uh. At home, I love my I love my mom's cooking. I love Italian food, and uh, I guess if I had to pick anything, like as far as diet goes, uh, grilled chicken, steak. I I'm not very picky with food. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be and really honest. Keep yeah. in mind, we're on a college budget. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so that's that was it, really. Thank all you. Right. I really appreciate the time. Uh, I feel like I got to know you more. I feel like our viewers got to know you a little bit better and uh, a better idea of the team, really. Uh, thank you for your time, man. Thank you. Right. I'm Jose Pichardo, and that was our Devil of the Week. And for more information, you can go to ftudevils.com.